to my channel and today I have a plan with me video for you guys um, I will be using this planner <laughs> this video is um, a bit hard for me to do I've been in a planner funk for a while now and um, I've only been using my B6 Prepression Planner which I'll show you guys um, this is the main planner that I use throughout the week. Um, I love this little planner. It's perfect. It just goes into my purse. It's my everyday carry. And I love planning in this. I did um, purchase this planner at the beginning of the year. And I'm the kind of person that I just, I have to finish out a planner even if I um, end up falling like don't want to plan in it in the middle of the year so that's that's just me so I am going to be finishing off the year in this one um, I've been behind a few weeks in it because I just really haven't had I haven't been excited to plan in this planner I do love my cover um, but I just I haven't had fun planning in this planner for a while so but I thought um, I would film a video. Um, I am in the middle of moving, so I wanted to film a video so I could um, have something to post on my channel. Um, I am going to be getting pretty busy, so I just thought today I had um, some time, so I thought I would get something filmed. And it's, it's kind of hard for me to um, film a plan with me of this because I kind of just plan in here as throughout the week so I've been thinking about using this kind of like as my weekly planner kind of like where I just do kind of like ugly planning and then um, I could just film a video of of me making this one pretty and using kits and stuff like that so I'm not sure what I will do, but we will see. So, I'm sorry you guys, my nails look pretty bad. Like I said, I am moving, so lots of stuff around here is just, I've just, yeah, I, I can't, I can't deal with my nails right now. <laughs> so, I've got my coffee here, and I'm just going to plan away. I am going to be using this kit from Chasing Chells. Um, I love her kits. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned this before. Her kits are awesome. This is an old format, so she doesn't have this specific format anymore. Um, I really like, I, I love her new format as well. Um, I just don't have, the kits that I have in her new format are um, kind of like a winter um fall type kits um so i just decided i would pull this one out and use it it is um well in washington it I really does not feel like summer is here yet because we've had like some really nice sunny weeks and then this whole week it's kind of been cloudy and really weird so go figure washington weather for you guys so i am still going to so this is fourth of july week and I'm not gonna use a 4th of July kit just because I don't, um, I'm Mexican so I don't really celebrate 4th of July. I mean, when we were younger we would do fireworks and stuff but now that all of my cousins are older we don't really do very much of that. Um, my family does get together. We just kind of use it as an excuse to get together as a family and we barbecue but we don't really celebrate 4th of July too much. So I'm not using a 4th of July kit. I'm gonna use this, um, this is like a vacation kit. Um, you know, I wish I was going on a vacation this summer. I was supposed to. So I'm just going to use this kit and pretend like I was going on a <laughs> nice vacation. But um, here are the full boxes. Here is some extra boxes that come with the kit. Here is the headers, the washi tape. I really like this like flower print on the washi tape. It's really pretty. 
and some half boxes, quarter boxes, checklists, some flags, and some deco. Little things and checklists. I don't really use checklists very often, so I usually just, um, if a kit has a whole sheet of checklists like this, I just save it for my little cousin. She likes them. So here is the overlay sheets. I love this and here is some icons and these are overlay headers so yeah like I mentioned her um, kits are different now but they are still really nice she sells um, the overlay kits separately and she has three different styles that you can choose from so I like to just um, buy those by themselves and just use them with other kits. I really like that. I can do that. So, see this is a week that I was planning and I just stopped because I just, just wasn't feeling it anymore, you guys. So, yeah, I have, this summer was... So for me, it was supposed to be a really fun summer. Two of my really close friends um, um, are getting married this summer and all the plans just completely changed. One of my friends did, um, did end up getting married still. Um, she had a very small wedding. I was not able to go to that. It was very sad, but you know, with everything going on, I, I wasn't able to go. And I have another friend, um, she's getting married later this month, and I can't go to that wedding either. So it's just, it really sucks. Um, I understand, and you know, obviously it's, it's just how things have to be right now. Um, so, but it's still, you know, I mean, they're getting married. I mean, that's only going to happen once you know they're um, both of my friends are still planning on having um, I think they're still gonna do um, parties afterwards or next year so we'll still get to celebrate but you know it's it's different I guess and I guess you know I mean if it were me at that point I, I honestly wouldn't want to deal with it you know I would just <laughs> I would just want to get married and just get it over with, you know? But that is just me. When I got married, it was, I mean, I was, it was stressful planning my wedding for sure. Um, oh, I think I just ran out of white out. Great. Okay. All right, I don't know where I'm going to use this. And all of my stuff is packed, so I don't even know where I have any white out, honestly. Hmm, okay. All right, we're just going to have to wing it. That's what I get for filming a plan with me when I'm like, all my planner stuff is like pretty much packed. Um, I have, I did pack um, the majority of my planner stuff, but I did leave. I have two planner bags that I've been using. And, um, I've just been using, um, you know, for my weekly planning, I've just put a bunch of supplies in there and works out. All right, so I should have looked to see what kind of washi I wanted to pull into this because that's the thing about these. Um, I feel like they changed the format in this bar is just too big and I have to use a lot more white out and I just I really don't like it that is 
one of the reasons why I'm just definitely not going to be using this planner next year. So I did, um, I think I've mentioned it on here before already, but I am getting an Aura Estelle. I did um, order one during the pre-order. They did a pre-sale or something like that, and um, so I have a bunch of washi in this little planner pouch. This is from Unicorn Planner. It's a, it's a huge bag. It fits a lot of stuff in here. I love it. So, okay, let's see. Where is the full boxes? Okay, maybe this one would be cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I am going to put this one on the bottom. So I don't have to use so much white out. Yeah, so I was saying I got my tracking number for my RSL. I'm so excited. So excited to get that in the mail. I was really starting to get nervous because so we have our apartment until the end of July, until July 31st. Um, but we are moving into our new place. Um, July the weekend of July 17th so I mean I'll still be able to come here and check my mail and stuff um, but I I was starting to get nervous that I wasn't going to get my tracking and I wasn't it wasn't gonna come in time because I think they ship from Canada I want to say so and Shipping has been delayed with COVID and everything, so. so yeah. Okay, I like how that looks. So, and then I'm also gonna use the overlay, the overlay tapes. The little, I'm not sure, I think I'm just gonna use one, we'll see. But yeah, so. I really contemplated on um, I I don't have I, I don't feel like I need to talk about what happened or why I'm so upset with and why I was contemplating on not using this planner anymore it's been all over the planner community and um, but that is one of the reasons why I really contemplating on whether purchasing a different planner and moving out of this one but um honestly it just for me it just it's not really I know there's a lot of affordable planners out there that I could purchase but um just with moving and everything and for me just the kind of person that I am when it comes to planning it just um I just knew it wasn't going to work out for me to move into another planner and have like a half finished planner I just I just really don't didn't want to do that so I am um what I am doing is I'm just I'm not gonna sponsor this brand anymore I am changing up the hashtags that I use in my Instagram and obviously on YouTube I am not mentioning um the company of um, the planner that I have um, I don't want to sponsor them so yeah I just figured I would just do that until I am completely moved out of this planner and I uh, you know also um, I think doing um, plan more plan with me's in my b6 will probably work out better for me so yeah that's just that's kind of my plan so we will see and 
and these are the date covers. And I always do this. I always put in the date covers first, but I don't like doing that. I like putting the headers down first. <laughs> so, okay, let's do, what color should I use? Let's do some blue headers. No. Mm, yeah. We'll do blue. Um, so I think for this part of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up. I'm just gonna put down, you know, put down my washi and some headers and full boxes and I'll get started on my sidebar. I'll be right back. So, um, what I did was I put down some headers, the date covers, and the date covers, it just has the, like, the little sticker with the paintbrush over it. It's like a little, I guess it's like paintbrush style, you could say. And then, um, it has foiled, um, the kit comes with foiled days of the weeks and the foiled little date dots so I really like that and I forgot to mention so the washi tape that I use down here that is um, a planner society washi tape from a past kit I was subscribed to the planner society for a long time and I absolutely love that subscription box um, but it was just it got to the point where I was I just had so many so much stuff from the planner society and I didn't really always use all of it so that is um, I ended up unsubscribing for that reason but I thought about going back and subscribing for her box sticker kits so we'll see maybe I will do that later on and um, I think I already mentioned it but I am um, this kit is from chasing Chells. I will link her shop down below um, I also have a discount code. It's just my name, Claudia. So if you guys are wanting to check out her shop, I have a code. And okay, so moving on, continuing with the plan with me, I'm going to go ahead and put down the boxes. And... I'm always so indecisive when it comes to putting down sticker boxes, but let's see. I think I will, I don't know if I'm gonna use, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use the girl sticker and put it, her in the middle. Yeah, I just, I had so much stuff I wanted to, like, talk about at the beginning of the video. I just kind of, I forgot to tell you guys about my discount code. I am PRing for this shop now, um, which is a lot of fun. It's the second time I have PR'd, and um, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Get to meet. I actually, um... One of my planner friends, really good planner friends on Instagram, um, sh um, her name is Summer, and she is, um, I think it's Summer Rose Plans on Instagram, and I actually met her through PRing for Chasing Chells. Um, we have, we chat all the time, and she is an awesome person so that is one of the things that I do like about PRing is that you get to meet other planner girls and just kind of get to bond over this you know crazy planner obsession <laughs> but yeah I've I mean we've still 
Um, I did that, I PR'd for her, I think it was last, it was before I had a YouTube channel. And um, we've still stayed in contact and we do swaps here and, here and there. It's a lot of fun, so I really, um, I just started PRing for Chasing Chels, so I'm excited to get to know other planner girls and um, make new friends, you know, so. All right, um, I'm gonna use, which one should I use? Hmm, maybe I will do this one, the little map. Yeah, so this summer I was supposed to go to Guadalajara um, with my husband's family, and I've never been, I've, I was born in Ensenada, Baja California. Um, it's just south of the border, and that's as far as I've ever gone when it comes to Mexico. My parents, my dad is from Zacatecas, from a very small town there, and um, my mom is also from Guadalajara, but a very small, small town. Um, so I've never been to, to um, their hometowns before. Um, usually, I mean, I don't, growing up, you know, my parents didn't really have a whole lot of money, so, and trips like this can get pretty expensive, so, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my little neighbor kids, um, they love to just go up and down the stairs, and they are really loud, <laughs> um, during the week when I'm working, it is kind of annoying, because you can just hear them running up and down the stairs, but I just keep on telling myself I'm not going to be living here very much longer. <laughs> so, as I was saying, so I was really excited to go visit my husband's family, because um, a lot of his family, he has some family here in the United States, but um, a lot of his aunts and uncles and cousins and his grandma and grandpa, they're all still in Mexico. So, I was really excited to get to meet them. And, you know, COVID happened, so we had to change up our, we had to change up our flights. And so now, um, and the um, airline that we're using to go to Mexico, they, they wouldn't let us, like, comp like, get a full refund for our tickets, which really, really sucks. So we had to um, just pick a different date, and which kind of sucks because I've, I mean, I've heard of um, other family members that have had to travel down to Mexico, and um, just recently, um, they, the plane had to turn around and go to Tijuana. So I'm like, hopefully that doesn't happen to us. But, you know, I mean, if we didn't have to, I mean, we would have lost a lot of money if we didn't do what we did. We just, so now we're going to go in October. Um, but I, if we could have just gotten a refund I, and just chosen, you know, from, you know, after all of this craziness is gone, we could have just gone at a different time, but we weren't able to get a full refund, so that really sucks. But yeah, so one of my um, family members that I know, she went to Guadalajara recently and she, um, yeah, her plane just, I guess they wouldn't let her land in Seattle because the COVID numbers are increasing in Seattle, so they wouldn't let them land, so the plane had to turn around and go to Tijuana. Like, how scary is that? Like, I don't like flying as it is, and um, I would just be really nervous. <laughs> So now we're gonna be we're gonna be going in October, which 
I'm excited, but I'm also, I'm also uneasy about it just because of everything that's going on. But what do you do, you know? I just, we're not in a position where we could just lose all that money, you know? But yeah, so can't decide which full box to use. Oh, I think I wanted to use this one on this day. Just because, so that I get a three day weekend this week and Thursday was kind of like my Friday. And Thursday was such a busy day. Like I work at a home health agency and um, like before, like when all of this craziness was happening with COVID, like our census dropped dramatic, like really, I don't even know what I was trying to say. It just dropped dramatically. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Um, and, you know, I was starting to get worried, but I mean, we've been really busy the last few weeks, like just like our numbers are going back up and Thursday, I tell you, Thursday was a crazy day for me. Like, so I started off with computer problems because that's, I think that's what just like made my day really, really hectic because it really kind of like slowed me down. So, but yeah, so I wanted to put the little computer sticker with the coffee on there because I was struggling with my laptop and I was having my coffee, definitely was drinking my coffee yesterday. But yeah, so I'm alternating these um, these little headers. I like to do that a lot. I like to alternate stickers. Like, there's a lot of like, I re do a lot of things repeatedly throughout the week. Like, you know, I go to work, I go to work Monday through Friday. And just having the same sticker um, for every day of the week that I'm working, it's just kind of, it's kind of boring. It gets kind of boring for me, so I like to switch it up a little bit. So... I do something different for, I put a different work sticker, like I kind of alternate throughout the week. And I like to do that with headers every once in a while too when I feel like it's too much of one color. I think just having pink was just too much. And this kit, it comes with four different foil, not foil, four different colors of headers. So why not? Why not mix it up? And I also don't, I know a lot of people, they do um, like three sets of headers in their planner. I don't do that. I just do two. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just how I do it. Okay. All right. So what else? happened this week that I could tell you guys about. So my little cousin, she is um, getting into planning. I'm so excited. I um, gifted her a couple planners already and she's really getting into it. It's a lot of fun. So she, so I live, um, I say, I usually just say I live in Seattle, um, but um, just because I don't really like to say exactly where I live, but so I live like about 30 minutes to 45 minutes from Seattle and my parents live an hour up north, which is where I'm going to be moving to. And my little cousin, she is moving in, She well, she already has. She moved in with her boyfriend and she's moving to the same city that I'm at. So just as she's moving here, I end up moving back up north, which it kind of sucks, but you know, we're, we're still going to see each other. She goes to her parents a lot, so, but on Wednesday, I ended up taking her to just the places that I like to hang out around here. I took her to Michael's, Target, and we were going to go get boba, 
but I was really hungry, so we ended up getting dinner. But, okay, I'm just blabbing too much. This thing, I can't talk and, like, plan at the same time. I need to... That's why I do voiceovers sometimes, but then when I do the voiceover, like, I don't... I kind of, like, forget, you know? I just... I mean, I could just keep on talking, and sometimes I don't have um, a lot of things to talk about, so voiceovers are a little hard. Okay, is there a sticker that says dinners or something? No, I don't see one. Darn. There's a cleaning one. I've just been packing all week. I've been packing all week and doing laundry. That's what I've been doing this week. Okay, maybe I'll just use a little sticker. I guess that could mark dinners. <laughs> Not really. What what do you let me know in the comments down below. What do you use the little the little headers if you have them? What do you use them? Like this one it just says littles. So, what do you use to mark that? I feel like that could be a lot of different things. So, I'm going to use it to mark dinners. All right. So, yeah, on Wednesday we ended up, um, we went to, okay guys, I'm back. My battery was running low, so it cut, off, cut me off there. Thankfully, I didn't lose any footage, so. Okay, so I just put down the little full box, the checklist box that I'm going to use to mark down dinners. And I am going to use a habit tracker. Usually I haven't been doing a whole lot in the sidebar for this planner because this is kind of like a memory planner for me. So I really haven't been doing this, but I feel like I am, I haven't been very good at taking my meds. So I'm just, I'm going to mark it in two places this week just because I really need to get back on track on doing that. And when I mark it in both planners, it just kind of like, you know, is a continuous, it just is a constant reminder that I need to take my meds in the morning. So, yeah. So, what was I saying, you guys? I was talking about um, Wednesday, yes. So, I haven't really been doing a lot this week, and I mean, me and my husband, we try not to leave the house very much. Um, I mean, I'm working from home, and we just go out, you know, just for groceries, and we do still um, see our family just because... Um, you know, our close family, it's still need to um, see them. So we do, um, you know, on the weekend, we will get together with family. But other than that, we're not like going out a whole lot. Um, but on Wednesday, so Monday through, yeah, so the, the rest of the week, I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we just stayed home and just did laundry and packed. That's what I did the whole week. It, my days were kind of boring, <laughs> pretty relaxing. I mean, other than work, they were pretty relaxing. And um, Wednesday was the day that I told my cousin I was going to take her to Michael's because I did, I gifted her a um, personal size planner. And she wanted to go and look at inserts and stuff. I told her that, um, you know, the cheapest way to go um, for inserts is just getting them printed. 
And she does have a printer, so she's probably gonna do that later on. Um, I told her I would, um, I haven't purchased any printable inserts yet, but I'm going to. So I told her I would, I could just share the files that I get with her. So that is what she's gonna do. But on Wednesday, we just kind of hung out, which I haven't done that in a long time. It was really nice. I, we went to Michael's and Target and then we had dinner, which we went to, um, it was, other than, my uncle has a restaurant, so other than my uncle's restaurant, it was the second restaurant that I went to during, so now um, King County, I think is, um, we're doing everything in phases. So King County is in phase two. So all the restaurants are doing dine-in. And, um, but there's just like, a, they can only allow like, I think it's 50% of what their capacity is. Everyone's wearing face masks and they're um, seating people like far apart. So, and I was, I mean, when I went in, I was, because I have heard of other restaurants that are not really doing that, that they're still serving, you know, obviously, because a lot of restaurants, they like lost a lot of business when they, when everything shut down. So I can see a lot of places are just trying to like seat as many people as they can to get more money, but. My uncle is not doing that at his restaurant and they're, you know, doing really good about cleaning everything. They're limiting the amount of people that go to the tables. And the restaurant that we went to on Wednesday was doing the same. So that I felt good going there. Um, and they also were doing like contact tracing, which I thought was interesting. So when you, when we got there, they asked us if we wanted to leave like our name and cell phone number in case there was an outbreak and so they would call everyone so that was the first time I came across that I thought that was interesting so yeah okay so sidebar dinner meds my little highlight of the week spot that I normally do and so this kit comes with um, these work labels, and I really like that, so I'm going to use those, um, but I'm also going to do um, some flags to do something else. Let's see. A lot of my character stickers are in, already put away. I just, so I have, I have some character stickers in here. So let me see if I, this binder is really big. I, my planning space is not ideal here. So, I am really excited to just, to get an actual desk when I move. I'm going to have like a little, um, a little pl uh, craft room when I move. So, yeah, these are all my Chasing Chell stickers. I love these stickers so much. The little Chell sticker is so adorable. So I'm going to pull some stickers to use. I think it's pretty appropriate. I'm using a Chasing Chells um, kit. So I should, you know, pull in some Chasing Chells stickers. And they're super cute. So I bought some wine on Wednesday too. So <laughs> I usually don't drink. Like during the week I don't drink. But... Every once in a while, it's nice. <laughs> okay. And 
And these, so these cute little work stickers are really cute, but it's like, I feel like it's more like if I were to go into the office, but I think I'll use them anyway. Okay. So yeah, these, all these stickers, these are all like my character stickers. I have some like flat lays in here, but these are all my stickers that are like, yeah, all, I think, yeah, I think these are the majority of my character stickers. I just started doing this, um, you know, sticker storage type. I really like it. So you have everything in one place. So, okay. I'm just going to put this one down for Monday. I'm going to put, what should I do? Should I do blue? Super cute. I feel like I should switch these out because it's bothering me that it's like pink on pink right there. <laughs> the little things that bother me. Okay. I got cut off again. <laughs> Um, I'm like getting cut off a lot in this video. So, okay. So just putting down my work stickers. And if you guys can hear my doggy, he is out now and playing. So I apologize in advance if you can hear him. Which one should I use? I'll do the light pink one this time. Oh no! Okay. Maybe I'll do this color. Okay. And then this one is blue. So me and my husband, um, we ended up... We canceled our Disney Plus account. Um, and we got HBO now. I originally got HBO because I wanted to watch all the Studio Ghibli movies, um, which I have been watching those as well, but, um, we've also started watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> I never really understood, um, the hype for that, for that show. Like, a lot of my coworkers were really into it, and... I mean, also, I didn't, I don't, I never really, I didn't have HBO, so I didn't really have a place to watch it, and I didn't really care to, like, go and, like, try to, try to watch it. My sister was watching it for a while, and she was buying the seasons, and I'm like, nope, not doing that. So, we got HBO, is it HBO now or HBO Max? I don't know. But, thing is, we've been watching Game of Thrones, and... That show is so good. <laughs> um, I like totally get it now. I'm like, I understand the hype now because it is a really good show. I mean, aside from when my sister was watching it, I was like, there's just like a lot of nudity and, you know, a lot of that. But like, aside from that, you know, it's actually like, I've been watching it a little bit more lately, and it's a really good story. I like all the dragons and stuff, and so we have been watching that a lot at night. <laughs> and besides from, you know, just doing um, packing and doing laundry, 
okay so for this part um just because i don't know what exactly i'm gonna do i am going to just speed up through this fast forward through this and i will come back and show you guys what i did hey guys i'm back so this is my finished spread i just um went ahead and put all the stickers down oh okay all right so for the majority of um the icons are from this sheet right here this is a little icon sheet it's all foiled um these are all from chasing chels this is this right here, the little phone, is from Rose and Tea Shop. And I did use a little bit of the deco um, around the kit here. And this one is from, I believe it's Nicole Hutch Designs. It's just a little Happy Mail sticker. Film sticker is from Letters to Apollo. These, um... I think you could call them, I think they're half doilies is what they are. Um, these are from Honey Inked. And I am obsessed with this shop. Um, this A girl on YouTube, um, her Instagram is Allie, Allie Joanne Plans. I think she's Allie Joanne Plans on YouTube as well, but check out her videos. She, um, does a really great job at layering stickers and I heard about this shop from her so I really like this shop they have a lot of really cute stuff and um, this one is from Happy Daya so it is Friday today when I'm filming this so the weekend um, I just kind of put stickers here that I thought I could use um, but yeah you guys that is my finished spread I really like how it turned out I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have left over so I I never um, throw any of these stickers away guys I just I keep on using them and I love them putting them in my spreads so I have some full boxes here some more little headers the work stickers and little page flags a bunch of little things. I'm I'm a white space planner, so I don't really use a lot of these stickers, but I do um you know a lot of the times I end up I end up passing them to my cousin, so and she does get a lot of use out of them. So, and this is what's left of the overlay sheets and the more functional ones. And okay, let me see if I can so I did use um, a lot of foil, not too much, but I think it looks really cute. I really like how it turned out. So definitely check, check out Chasing Chels and use my coupon code if you guys are interested. Um, it is Claudia and it is for 20% um, off your order. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.